We are tracking, get this, more snow in the mountains. This here is a live snapshot from Paradise on Mount Rainier. You can see a few snow banks already kind of built up there. It is looking beautiful. Let's get to meteorologist Adam Quavon, who's tracking all of this, as well as some rain that's in store for the lowlands this week. Exactly, yeah, that didn't take long, right? About a week and things are just well full into swing now into the fall season. Uh, we're going to deal with some wind here, especially as we go into the day tomorrow. For the time being, those winds have come down quite a bit from yesterday when they were around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Right now coming in at about 5 to maybe 15 here across western Washington. But starting up tomorrow, 5 a.m., we do have a wind advisory that's going to be in effect until 5 p.m. tomorrow evening. Winds generally around 20 to 35 miles per hour. Gust could get up anywhere between about maybe 40 to 45 miles per hour for Camino Whidbey Island up here across the northeastern tip of the Olympic Peninsula up across north northern interior too. That does include parts of Snohomish County and then you go farther off towards the west and northern tip of the coast there. You can see that's also under this wind advisory for tomorrow. Another look at all the snow that we have already packed up there at Paradise. It's going to be a little more heading into the night, not a ton more. We got cloudy skies here in Seattle. It's been a relatively dry day, 51 chillier day. Winds coming out of the south at nine miles per hour. As far as temperatures, Bremerton 48, 52 in Tacoma. We're sitting at 52 in Olympia right now at 50 degrees in Bellingham Forks. We're sitting at 49. Next system heading in right now. It's it's a weaker one and we're seeing that's coming in a little later than yesterday's disturbance. So some areas of rain kind of here and there. Most of that right now over the Olympic Peninsula with a lot less of those darker greens or yellows and oranges like we were seeing yesterday. The light greens indicating lighter rainfall as that moves on by. So maybe about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch as it moves through. So as we take a look at that tonight, we're expecting this to start to come on by and it looks like around Puget Sound, maybe around midnight. We start to see that fill in a bit more, but most of it, yes, will again stay off closer to the coast. That moves through as we go deeper into the night before early tomorrow morning. We'll have a few of those showers that will be around. Now, as we get into the day tomorrow, most spots will stay dry here across western Washington unless you're a little farther off towards the north here across Clallam County, more of the San Juan Islands, Skagit, and more so Whatcom County as this rain will start to set up along more of a stalled frontal boundary. That, and it's going to head through and it is going to put down some heavier rain, so more moisture associated with this disturbance. That comes through heading into later tomorrow evening, 5 o'clock. We're seeing that continuing to move on through, but slowly here we are at 11 p.m., so putting down a good amount of rain over the Olympic Peninsula and for parts of northwest interior. We could see some flooding concerns with that. We'll just have to wait to see and that will move on by as we head on throughout the overnight and into early Friday. So by about nine o'clock, we're seeing a lot of the steadier rain move on out of here. Showers left behind for the afternoon. Things breaking apart, but seeing another system right behind that as we head on into the weekend. Saturday, a weaker one. Better chances of that coming in by the time we head on into the day for Sunday. Here's your forecast. Next seven days calling for more of the rain. Highs actually bumping up near 60 tomorrow. We'll be at 59, especially with spots farther south that will get away with not seeing much of the rain. 56 on Friday. More rain to come for us Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and yeah, all the way through next Wednesday with some showers. Early Monday, it looks like trick-or-treating might stay dry though.